If the scientists in St. Charles, Missouri find a Sabo skull, it will help Jihad Muhammad fulfill his goal of giving an identity to Jean-Baptiste Point de Sable. Over the years, dozens of images of de Sable have been created, even a U.S. postage stamp. But they're all works of fiction. No one has ever seen an authentic representation of his face. But Muhammad believes he can come up with one. That's because he's trained in a technique called facial reconstruction. Using specialized skills and materials, he can literally resurrect a person's likeness from the structure of their skull. As an example of what might be done with Dasabal, Mohammed will create a face for a skull that was found in January 1990 in St. Louis. At the time, a construction team was building a new police station when suddenly they made a grisly discovery. Skeletons and pieces of wooden coffins began turning up with every movement of the earth. Construction was stopped. An archaeological excavation was begun. It was soon learned that the remains had been buried in the early to mid-19th century as part of a massive Catholic cemetery. The bodies were to have been moved when the city expanded, but instead, they were merely paved over and forgotten. Over three months of work, more than 80 individual skeletons were recovered. Some were African Americans, both free and enslaved. They were people who died anonymously, leaving behind no records of what they did in life or how they looked. It's so important to me, and also to the African community, to be able to look back into history and see what our ancestors looked like. The tools that we have available for us today allows us to do that. When the skull was pulled from the ground, it was clear that it was fragile. In order to reconstruct the face without damaging the precious skull, an exact replica must be made. At the University of Illinois at Chicago, the process starts by putting the skull through a CAT scan. This will provide detailed images, showing pieces of bone that would be obscured by an ordinary x-ray. It's remarkable how all of the little fine bones have held up over all of this time. Amazingly intact for being 200 years old. Next, Ray Evenhouse, a biomedical modeler, uses the images from the CAT scan to reassemble the skull into a three-dimensional computer model. What you see on this first screen is some cross-sections of the CTs. You can see we've got some beautiful resolution here. From this model, a process called stereolithography will create a plastic replica of the original skull. The 3D image of the skull is entered into a computer at a high-tech modeling company. Breaking the model into minuscule layers, the computer precisely guides a laser over a tank of liquefied plastic. The laser hardens the plastic in individual layers. Eventually, the skull will be created out of 1,200 layers. It takes 17 hours, but finally, the finished product emerges. The new plastic skull is cleaned and then dried. It is a classic example of advanced technology helping to open doors to the past. Now the precious, irreplaceable original skull can be set aside, and this duplicate, precise in every detail, will be used to find the face of a man from two centuries ago. With the original skull put safely away, Muhammad begins the reconstruction by putting tissue markers in exact specified locations. These will serve as guideposts for the clay, dictating how thick it should be at each point on the face. Such tissue measurements are different for different genders and races. In this stage, the work is largely based on scientific information, but eventually it falls more to artistic recreation. The length of the nose, the shape of the ears, all are unknown and subject to interpretation. And slowly a character is revealed, a person is apparent. When the eyes are placed, the face becomes lifelike. For Muhammad, 
Finding the face of this individual is an achievement that connects him to his past. It also gives him an opportunity to prove his idea, to show how it might be possible to create an authentic representation of a legendary person like Jean-Baptiste Point de Sable, similar to this reconstructed face of an African-American skull found in St. Louis. But still, the question remains, can the scientists find de Sable's bones? More to come on In Search of de Sable.